Well, I guess as a kid, I read too many Choose Your Own Adventures books, and uh, so we wanted to create that for museum visitors so that they got to choose what they learned, what they investigated, and so we came up with this idea and how it could fit well into the museum here. From the time we decided we were gonna do this, that took us probably about a year to go out, collect the video, edit it, and do the computer programming to make it really cool. Museum likes to partner with universities because that brings the hard science into an informal setting. And we can take all this great information that's being uh, studied by scientists out in the field and bring it right to the public in a fun, interesting way. Well, this kiosk is gonna teach people a few things. Number one, it's gonna teach them about the coastal Everglades and the animals that make it their home. The next thing they're gonna learn about is the research that's going on so that we can understand how changes in the environment, both sea level rise and restoring the Everglades is gonna affect these big predators and the important role they play. But most importantly, they're gonna to get to learn this for themselves. So this isn't just sit and watch videos. They get to interact and watch where animals move, how they move, and kind of learn for themselves just like they're part of the research team. Well, we were really excited about it because we were very interested in the work that was going on of tracking bull sharks into the Everglades. What's cooler than that? Into freshwater. So we thought that was really fun, innovative, cutting edge. The Eco Discovery Center is a brand new expansion of the Museum of Discovery and Science. It actually doubles the square footage of our exhibit space from our current building. So we have twice as much exhibit space now uh, for exhibitry. So right here we're seeing these animals move around the Everglades past these base stations. Every time they go past the station we know what animal was there, which individual, and what time it was there. So by downloading these stations we take the data, put it in a computer, and we see where all these animals have gone for up to three years. And the cool thing in this kiosk is you can then explore that. You can come back time after time and follow your favorite alligator, bull shark, snook, or gar to see where it's been. And we'll be updating this every few months so you'll get the latest information that we're getting in the field. In this kiosk, you're seeing the research of at least five different groups at FIU. But really, a lot of the information contained in it is from hundreds of people who've been studying the Everglades for decades. So that's one of the cool things that hopefully will get people excited about FIU's research, and then they can go check us out on the web to see all the different things we're doing in the Everglades.